say that when Mike Tyndall arrived here, it was a bit of a surprise to the crowd, not that he was coming, but that he arrived so very early, uh, very keen, very prompt. Uh, probably uh, the, his party had been told they needed to be there in time for all the royal party uh, to set off in sequence, because, of course, this is all very, very carefully planned. So what... Now, this could be... Uh... Yes, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, Prince Edward arriving. So the first of your royal arrivals here at Canongate Perth. Edward, uncle to the bride, of course. The crowd very pleased by that wave for them. All of the royal family uh, just outside the church after the ceremony, we shouldn't we? Should expect to see all of them. Prince Andrew. And here's uh, Prince Andrew. And here are the princesses. A lot of the crowd have been waiting for this, uh, seeing Beatrice and Eugenie. Is that aquamarine? Quite a fashion statement from uh, both girls. Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Prince Harry. For many in the crowd, this is the biggest moment. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, William and Catherine, Prince Harry. They're eliciting the biggest cheer yet from a crowd of several hundred uh, packed behind their barriers just outside the historic Cannon Gate. Quite a hat or fascinator. You can see the button detail down the back of their dresses now. Doesn't that that rather reminds you of uh, Philippa Middleton at the other royal wedding? The Reverend Neil Gardner waiting to welcome the Queen. at her Edinburgh church. Here she is, and here is the bride arriving at Canongate Kirk, the Queen's granddaughter, 13th in line to the throne. And we can tell you about the dress is designed by Stuart Carvin, what you're looking at. She's wearing an ivory silk dress. Oh, now you see it coming through with her veil. Her ivory gown by Edinburgh trained designer Stuart Carvin. Silk Duchess sat in there for the bust of the dress, a very full skirt. And the uh, fabric covered buttons again at the back of the gown and the veil, cathedral length veil. Uh, Buffon style coming out behind that ivory gown. Stuart Carvin, who runs his own bridal salon in London, is an Edinburgh educated designer. There we go, turning to face the cameras the very briefest of waves.